Okay, so this is one of our new experiments. Um, Victoria is here helping me with a project to try a centropic agriculture field. Um, and she's saying I've given her some of the best soil in Zambia. You can see here, um, we've looked at it. And at this stage, it's I can I can break a brand new lasher shovel because it's just like rock. It's not rock, but it's just very compacted. So we're gonna deep rip it, and then we will see what we can do with biology. The land you saw in that last video was quite compacted, so we went through and we ripped it and cross-ripped it and then ran a compact disc harrow over it. So now we're putting down one 50 kg bag of manure per square meter. what we've got going on here is we've put a lot of worm casting down in the rows. So this field was used for growing maize for, you know, 60 years. And so you can see um, quite degraded soil. And so uh, we've got worm castings going along and she's putting down some gypsum so that we can get the biology really kick-started in the, in the main rows. So the planting has started, um, getting the irrigation lines for the micro jets put out. You can see they're about ready to start setting out bananas. <laughs> so here you already put one, right? So you can just have it. So the main planting is done as far as the the main rows. So you can see we've got main rows done. Um, we definitely still have mulching to do and a lot of the crops as well as the covers and the additional lines going down the middle. Um, but the primary cash rows are in. We've even started adding in some of the placenta factors. You can see um, we've got different herbs, veggies, and asparagus planted in here. And so that's uh, Exciting to see that starting to be put into place. So this is my new garden experiment with Victoria, this intern we have from um, Brazil. Her dad does a lot of centropic agriculture. And you can see here, we've got the beds built up. Underneath there, there's manure, gypsum, um, worm castings. Then you got your placental vegetables, the early quick um, high hormone, fast growth um, ones between the bananas. So we've got that. We've got wood shavings that have had chickens on them in, as mulch on top. Grasses on the sides. In here, um, we've got pigeon peas and um, moringa tree seeds planted. In between it, we've got oats and peas. And um, you can actually see that starting to sprout. See the oats starting to poke up right in there. And so basically it's going to be a transitional forest. So we'll start with this process. We'll actually also put some alpha alpha strips through here. Um, you've got glycidia, you've got blue gum. These trees are both for what we call chop and drop. As they grow, we'll cut them as mulch and drop them on the ground. You've got mulberry stems in here that'll be sprouting soon, probably in about a month. Um, then every other row, you come over here, you've got avocados, pineapples, and they haven't yet fully planted this, but you've got basil in there right now, and they'll add other veggies as we develop. Um, once again, the chop and drop trees and yeah, pretty excited to see how this develops. You can see this soil. Um, we've added the manure and the, and then in the rows, the, the worm castings. 
um, but we're expecting to continue to keep the soil covered. So you can see here we've stopped and we'll go ahead and keep adding to build up that carbon layer. Here's a little update. Here's some of the crop coming up between. You can see buckwheat and oats and peas coming up. And you can see everything else. So it's still cold as everything and quite windy. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of tillering on the oats. Peas are happy with the cold. Buckwheat's not quite so happy with the cold. Um, but a number of the things are starting to be happy. Got a few ladybugs. Webs, a lot of different things going on in here. <clears throat> Just taking a little bit of a look here in this entropic system on the edge here. I've dug down through into the mulch, and you can see quite active in here. Just a few weeks. Let it spend not working. See here some progress. Bananas aren't too happy because it's just been so cold and windy. But all the veggies and herbs with the central system are coming up well. Starting to get some sprouts on some different plants that we've got that'll come out when it gets warmer. Bananas, most of them will recover once it gets a bit warmer. So back at the centropic system here. You can see, and you'll see, hey, bananas didn't like the cold winter we planted them in, uh, but we've been cutting and dropping um, cilantro and some of the different plants we had in here. You can see the cold winter crops have really had a good time. Starting to get good sprouting on um, the other plants. Mulberries coming. So really excited about that. And then you remember those short plants in the middle? These things have taken off. You can see the peas. We've been harvesting um, snap peas, sugar peas. Got some purple vetch in here. The oats. Um, this literally has had no inputs except we have sprayed um, some molasses in water every two weeks. Um, just to kick, kick up that biology. But um, you can see the buckwheat down in here is about finished. It's time's out. And then in where, here where we've got peas, it is just so, so thick um, in the system here. So you can see in here we've got cone-style cabbages, um, fennel, um, lots of lots of celery. Uh, we really had a good crop of broccoli too. You see it coming here. Um, in this field, when I've grown broccoli before, um, we had lots of hollow stems from boron deficiency. Um, we'd always have to spray for boron deficiency. And with this system, we've had no boron deficiency of, uh, evident, at least not in stem hollowness. So, been pretty impressed with that. Check out just how lush and thick this all is. It is just absolutely rich with uh, biomass at this stage. And so, pretty amazing what a couple of months and some biology being added back in here does. You can 
see here just how tall this these oats are. They're coming right up to my chin um, in the system, and the peas just look absolutely wonderful. So the next step for us is to go ahead and shift into warm season um, plants. And so uh, next thing up is for us to go ahead and, and slash down um, all the um, oats, rye, and peas and buckwheat and mulch in with that. Then we're going to go ahead and plant in the panicum grass and we'll be planting in things like ginger, turmeric, uh, papaya um, into the system.